All right, YouTube, it's time for an update on the Dad to Glory. And to be quite honest, I have a question in the back of my mind ever since Tuesday's content on EAFC 24. And before we jump into that question, we will check today's content. It is Wednesday, right after content uh, on 1 p.m. my time in North America. So we will jump into this, see where we at in preparation for a team of the year. And before, before we do that, please jump into the comments, leave a like, subscribe, share, try to make this bigger than it is, the dad to glory, more dads we are, the better the game will be in the end because we're trying to spread the positive vibe, uh, positive thinking and not spending FC points while grinding ultimate team because it is a game, it must stay a game and not become some sort of tax write-off or crazy expenses, or a crazy credit card bill at the end of the month. It is supposed to be fun, and even though you're putting time into it, it shouldn't cost you a dime to play Ultimate Team, because keyword here is play. We do a little bit more than that. We play passionately. Let's just uh, leave it at that, in the Dead to Glory, but we play for free. So, my question, very simple. Should we be worried that team of the year will be a letdown this year and sub question will team of the year be the beginning of the end of fc as we know it and be like the gateway to a more pay to win format in ultimate team i will try to make myself clear within the uh, next minutes as we go on the update i just wanted to start on the team of the week very quick, it is absolutely pointless. New team of the week, uh, you get Donnarumma, maybe you will play. Uh, if you are a Giroud fan with 80 pace, maybe you will play, but he had a great flashback SPC. Uh, DiMarco is not a bad center back, but nothing special really. You're not trying to pack center backs from team of the week. And everything else is just fodder at 83 rated. Uh, some of those are probably uh, from Silvers. And there's Holun, who I believe is a, could be a fun card. But, you know, that's Team of the Week. That's Wednesday's content. And I'm recording this without even knowing what's in content today. Because I'm expecting some sort of a coin fodder, a coin, coin like, a suck machine for your coins from EA in the SPC's department to go on top of the 87 radioactive, the 86 UAFA Euro players. Those two you shouldn't do at all costs. They are only there to drain you of your fodder before team of the year. And what did they add? The daily login is was already there. And Zico is there. See? EA are starting to release the big boys for you to put your fodder into this. And it's not a Thunderstruck or special Zico. It is the base Zico. It's a crazy card. Five star, five star with the uh, the play the Dead Paul Plus. It's probably one of the best cam in the game. But it is the base version of Zico. So no special card. Uh, three days away from Team of the Year. And it's going to be around 1 mil in fodder, a little bit more. The 89 rated squads are hard to do. So that's the big new thing for Wednesday, as well as the repeating 85 plus. The 83 times 5 attacker from yesterday, we will come back to this. I have some thoughts about it. The 83 tens are coming back. And now they put the uh, midfielders as well. Daily bronze, daily gold, daily silvers. You do this all the time. And basically, that's what content was for today. And that will lead me to my next point, which is why we should be worried before Team of the Year. And I'll tell you why. It's because of the prices of SPCs. First, let me just check the midfielder upgrade. Should you do these for Team of the Year? This one is all right. 83 times 5 for an 84 rated squad. Yes. You are losing rating, and there are a lot of 83-plus midfielders. But at least this one doesn't require an 87-rated player. And this is where it was completely shameful for me, eh? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? He, I didn't do any of them, by the way, so 
the 83 times 5 attacker. You have an 84 rated squad with an 87 player. So that means you need to put 187 or above, uh, 3 or 4 84s and the rest 83s to get an 84 rated squad for 5 83 plus cards. And rest assured, you will pack 4 83s and maybe one card over. So you absolutely lose on value unless you pack a team of the year, which is highly unlikely. And let me stretch that. Highly, highly unlikely that you will pack a team of the year, even though those packs are advertised as your best chance to do so. Why? Because the pack weight has been absolutely crazy this year. Just think to yourself, when's the last time you packed a good promo card? I'm not talking FC versus um, Radecki as the keeper, as an 87 rated. I'm, I'm talking about top shelf promo card from a pack from your grind not a, net, a store pack so prime gold players pack 83 times 10 83 times 20 84 times 5 whatever the packs you choose try to think did i pack one of the top guys this year mbappe salah whatever there were a ton of great promo cards and the answer is no. The answer is straight up no, you did not pack them unless you were crazy lucky. I didn't pack any of those, that's for sure. My best pull this year is Team of the Week Hansen, and she was from a Team of the Week upgrade. Not a pack, not a regular thing pack. So the problem with this is Team of the Year, it's only top shelf. Only top shelf. The worst team of the year are going to be either one of the defenders or one of the center mids, uh, maybe in the woman's side. I'm trying to stay uh, spoiler-free, by the way. I'm not going to tell you names. I've seen the two squads, so uh, I know, but I'm not going to mention names. So everything else is top shelf. The, t the team of the year icon squad is going to be top shelf as well. So it is a full squad of player that are going to be unpackable so these upgrade packs it's gold fodder gold fodder gold fodder gold fodder and team of the weeks that's it that's all you're gonna get and maybe if we get team of the year nominees that's what you're gonna pack with those straight up so p spending an 87 rated player plus an 84 rated squad for five cards it is mental, 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 and it's EA sending us a clear signal that this year, if you want Team of the Year, you better jump into the store and buy these absolute bank robbery packs. Look at this. 100 rare gold players item rated 82 or higher plus 1087 rated higher. The cost of this is $40. 40 freaking dollars Canadian, that's what, 25 euros, 30 euros, I don't know, or 600,000 coins, so if you're um, a trader, it's a lot of coins for anybody, even if you have millions, that is a lot of coins for untradeable gold cards with the off chance of packing a team of the year, and even so, these packs will never guarantee a team of the year. These are the lottery tickets you buy with a big price tag with the hopes of maybe getting the below 1% card you can pack. So, to my point, should we be worried? The answer is yes. Because right now, the League of PC grind is working, but it is kind of slow. You get a lot of untradeable fodder from the season objectives and everything, but season is going on for another week. It's going to end close to the full release of Team of the Year. There's a prospective calendar of Team of the Year, and it's supposed to be like last year. So three days attacking, three days midfielders, defenders, and then uh, you have a full squad with a icon squad and maybe nominees. We don't know about nominees. So you get these little SPCs beforehand. We had Thierry Henry and Zico, both base versions, so no special cards. We are four months into the game. Base icon are starting to get old. Like, promo cards will be better than those two. And these are still very expensive. So maybe I'll go for Zico, I don't know. 
But Thierry Henry is going to be a pass for me, even though I love the player in real life. He coached here in Montreal for uh, the CFM. But, you know, that's another story. My point is, I'm getting ready for Team of the Year. I'm saving packs. I have a bunch of packs ready to go. I have 150 packs ready to go. And close to 150, I will get over 150 packs. And those are all Prime Gold Players pack and anything 83 plus. But I am well aware that all my 83 pluses packs are going to be that. 83 rated cards. I'm just going to use them as fodder to recycle and do something else. So that is the point of this. We're Wednesday, two days before the full start of Team of the Year. And I don't feel hyped. I am ready. I want to do it. But everything, like we got the team uh, pursuit again. It's the same thing as last week. Everything is wash, rinse, repeat. And everything is directed to the store. So usually, before Team of the Year, we have upgrades as PCs. We can do... League specific packs, we can do League SPC, we can do a bunch of everything, but now all that we can do is 83 tens, 85 doubles, those awful specific packs, and they all require the same thing, 83 and 84 rated cards. So we, you cannot just grind and grind and grind organically to get to a better place. The only thing you can do is choose the grind you want to do and stick to it and try not to lose all your coins in the process. That is very strategic move by EA. They are not opening the gates. They are keeping us close. Close enough that we want to play. Close enough that we want to grind. But we don't have a pl an open playing field where we can just spend hours on the game to get whatever we want. We have to spend the time that they want us to spend on the game to get what they want us to get not the other way around ea are holding on the strings very tightly unless you are willing to take out your credit card and buy some packs which i implore you do not do do not do don't let ea win send a strong signal that we want to play the game we don't mind spending hours within the game ecosystem we just don't want to spend more money. They do enough as it is. It's a billion dollar company. They don't need more money. Like they could just give us a little bit more. And the patch this week doesn't even cover half of the problems of the game. Not even going to talk about this. I just wanted to make that point about the SPCs because the grind this week. Full disclosure, I didn't grind the game on Tuesday. I did my daily thing, it took me 20 minutes, and I logged out, and I never came back. I bear, I almost skipped a full day of grind, because it were, there was nothing for me to do. Except the same thing I've been doing for two weeks, which is spamming the League SPCs, opening bronze packs, and just recycling some stuff. But I'm getting dry on fodder, because I'm not opening the big packs. And that's not normal. Like, the week of Team of the Year, usually it's full-on... All in, we're getting ready, we see people with hundreds and thousands of packs ready to go, but that's not the case this year, and that worries me. The game will live on, but maybe not the grinders within the game, and we are months away from Team of the Season and the end game thing. We're, we're supposed to be entering the prime of the game with Team of the Year and then some cool promos after, but it feels already on its knees ready to give up and that's not something i want to see so let me hear your thoughts on this i'm gonna end this on that nothing crazy no packs no nothing just a little rent i want to be hyped for team of the year but right now ea is doing everything they can to not let me be hype and that pisses me off let me enjoy your game ea it's not complicated you want me to play I want to play. Let me play. Simple as that. I'll see you boys later down the road, probably Friday, to see what's up with Team of the Year. Ciao.